everybody, welcome back. Hot on the heels of uh, yes, oh, yesterday, the day before, um, Voltimus uh, restoration. Uh, a couple of you guys asked, um, oh, well, yeah, can we see the thing in operation? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And um, I'm curious myself. I know it should work, but uh, it's always good to see it in um, under under test conditions. So um, it's it's on. It's been warming up. Radio, <coughs> pardon me, the radio is on. It's a little nipper, um, Mark II, A13A, I think. And um, the uh, voltmeter, the alligator clips going into it, uh, connected to the um, terminals on the speaker. The RF gen, which you see in pretty much all my videos, you just see it sitting there. Um, the output of that is going straight to the uh, grid, uh, grid cap of the 6A8, the mixer valve, and the negative side of the um, RF gen goes straight to the chassis. And I'll just bring the camera around again, and you can see, oh, pardon me, you can see the frequency there, 47 point, it should be 47.5, that's the closest I can get to it, and that will do, that will be more than sufficient. All right. So, let's turn the radio up a bit. There's our signal. And little voltmeter went up already, as it should. And that's full volume. So we'll leave it about there. That shouldn't be too just oh, annoying for you. Well, we'll start off with the... Uh, with the IF cans and go to the second one, second IF can first, which is up here. And let's tweak it once I can get my screwdriver into it. Here we go. Yep. You beauty. And much more. And it goes down, so turn it back a bit. Yep. That'll do, right there. Turn the volume down again. Let's go to the other end of that can. Let's give it a turn. Not much is happening. Use a different screwdriver. No, wrong way. Not much deflection on this end. Turn it up a little bit more. That's about it. That, that can anyway. Right now we go to the first IFE can and do the same thing again. Rinse and repeat. Here we go. No, back the opposite way. That looks like it's about it. Hmm. We'll try the other end of it. end up doing it again just to fine tune it go back to the second can do both ends then back to the first can do both ends and it's done so I won't bore you with that because <laughs> not going to be not going to be too much to see on there just really fine tuning on it and um, I'll get that done and then we'll um, have a listen to the radio disconnected all those <clears throat> leads get them out of my way and let's send the radio up Alpha Pilot, it's an offer 
for a livable wage and health care, especially to developing artists. Okay. Got you. Repair process from start to finish and provide an accident replacement vehicle at no cost to you. Rest well, that's loud. And provide you with I reckon it could do with a, a better 6v6 in there, actually, because I just grabbed some valves and uh, threw them in. I hope they worked. But anyway, job's done. And, uh, yeah, the vault missed, yep. Yeah, good little unit, just for alignments. That's all, as I said, I'm going to use it for. And, um... Yeah, actually, um, I, look, I can't remember your name, but you said um, the um, the guts of the uh, actual meter itself, they could be uh, an issue as to why I couldn't calibrate the thing too. You know, brilliant, brilliant thought, you know. So, um, probably it, but yeah, I'm just, I am going to leave it like that and, um, and just use it for alignments, that's all. And one day, if I'm lucky enough, I'll end up with a... A Heathkit vacuum tube volt radar, which I'd love to have, but one day I'll get one. So anyway, that's it, guys, and I will catch you all again soon. Bye.